everyone. If you saw my last video, you know that I got some paper making kits for Christmas. Um, so I've been itching to try it out. So I thought I'd do a little video of my first try at making paper. So I've been going over the instruction sheet here, which is a nice laminated sheet, which is great because I've already dropped it in this water just reading through it. Um, so the first step is to gather the materials that aren't included in the kit. And so that's a blender, a shallow tub or dish pan. So that's what I've got here with some water in it. I need a cookie sheet with um, sides. And this is just to uh, keep water from getting all over the place. And then you also need some waste paper. So I've got a recycle bin here full of paper. And I thought I might try using some leftover Christmas wrapping paper just to see how that turns out in the paper making. Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't know. We'll find out. So the first step in the instructions is to put the decal together. So you start it upside down, undo the straps, and then let's see, put the green paper making screen down first and then the support grid on top of that and then it says to pull the straps across the support grid as tightly as you can so we've got that okay and then it says to Lower your hand mold at a slanted angle into the water or tub or dish pan. And then, so we'll do that. That's easy enough. Okay, next it says to select a piece of paper to recycle. Um, and given me this guide of how much paper we need to make a new sheet. Since I'm going to use wrapping paper and it's pretty thin, I think I'm going to double up, maybe even triple up on this green rectangle instead of doing just a single layer. Let's see, I'm going to rip the tape off of here. Okay, okay so there's one layer. layers and I might just throw a little extra in just for the heck of it just because I got it okay we'll see how that turns out now that we've got our paper it says to tear it into pieces and blend in the kitchen blender with two cups of water for 30 seconds okay We'll tear it up as small as we can. I thought I had another little piece of tape on there. Actually, I'm going to start some water in here just to make sure I don't burn out my blender. And everything I've read says don't use a blender that you plan to use with food again. So I got a new blender for this. You could get one at Goodwill. I got this super cheap with some coupons at Kohl's. down in there. This seems like it's getting nice and soaked. Alright, 
Let's see how this does. Um, that looks pretty pureed. I don't know if the grain wrapping paper was such a great idea. This looks kind of, uh, disgusting, but we'll try it. We'll see what happens in the end. <laughs> okay, next we take our blended pulp and pour it into the mold. So let's see. Oh, that is a disgusting color. <laughs> Get a little more. Rinse out the rest of the pulp in here. Okay, and it says spread the pulp evenly by wiggling your fingers in the water. And Lift the mold out of the water, holding it level, and let the water drain. Okay. So that's not dripping too much anymore. So next, we set the mold down on a tray or cookie sheet and pull the straps loose. Okay, pull these loose. And then lift the decal up and away from the paper making screen. Okay. Get that out of the way. Oh, that's really thick. I think I might have put too much paper. Okay, then carefully put the gray cover screen over the new sheet. So that's this here. It looks like just window screen. Oh, that's really thick. <laughs> okay, then we grab our sponge and press firmly on the top of the cover screen and then release. Drying out as much water as you can. I'm going to wring it out in my tub when it gets too full. We'll go again. I just dropped my sponge in the water. So, more rain. <laughs> okay. Do it one more time because there was still a lot of water in there. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. And then it says carefully lift a corner of the gray cover screen. And peel the screen off slowly. All right, so that's starting to look like paper. Doesn't seem quite so thick now that we've squished it down some. Okay, next pick up the paper making screen and turn it over and place it down on a dry cooch sheet. So your sheet will be between the paper making screen and the cooch sheet. Let me move this over. Make sure this is dry. And grab one of these, which is our cooch sheet. And then our paper. And we'll place it like that, making a little sandwich with it. Okay, and then let's see. More sponging. 
All right, so it says press sponge down hard all over the back of the paper making screen. Okay. Wring out the sponge and then do it again. Okay. Let's see, so we've done that. And then it says place one hand at the middle and one hand at the corner of the paper making screen and lift the corner. Remove the screen by lifting the corner while sliding back the other hand. The new sheet comes up with the screen. Try the other corners. All right. Ah, perfect. Okay. So next you put a dry coat sheet over the new sheet. So we'll grab another of these, put it on top and use the press bar. Where did I put that? Uh -huh. Press bar to press down as hard as you can on top of the coot sheet and the new sheet. Press everywhere. Okay. Oh, wow, you can still see how much water's coming out of this. Okay. Let's see if we're ready for the next step. It says remove the top coat sheet. Okay. And carefully lift one corner of the new sheet. Okay. Hmm. Slowly peel the new sheet from the bottom. The new sheet isn't strong enough. Remove more water by repeating the previous step. Aha, uh -huh. so we've got our piece of paper. Hmm. Still pretty wet. So the last step is ironing it to dry it out or letting it dry out underneath some pressure, but that will take a while. I don't have an iron set up out here, so Maybe I'll move this back inside and we can see what our finished sheet looks like. Okay, so I'm inside at my ironing mat. I thought I'd try to dry this sheet of paper out. Ooh, careful, don't mess up the edges. With my uh, Cricut Easy Press. I've got it set to 330 degrees. I don't know if that's too hot. It says you can use the hottest setting on your iron. Uh, but I don't know what that translates to in temperature. So we're just gonna try this and see how it goes. So I'm gonna just kind of be whoop, gentle here and a little sizzle. Ooh. Hopefully we don't fry this sheet of paper. So far it seems to be doing all right. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see that the edges are starting to look dry. That's good. Okay, this is actually working pretty well, I think. Okay, ow, careful, it gets hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip it over just so that it doesn't curl up too much. I've got kind of a bump in the middle of this mat, so it's kind of put that into my paper. In fact, I'm gonna move it over. Cool. This is getting pretty dry now. I think that's pretty dry. Yeah. Um, so there we have it, my uh, first piece of paper. It's pretty thick. I don't think I needed to use quite so much paper pulp. So it's mm, maybe cardstock weight. Um, it kind of lost some of that ugly 
pea green color, which is nice, but it's sort of just a gray. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great first try. Um, I can't wait to try a few more different techniques, maybe add some color, experiment with some different papers, but yeah, I think that went well. All right, thanks for watching.